the other way of inserting the content for page 2 that might even be easier for you at this stage is to simply strip the content out. So in the main area for page 2, all I've done is I've stripped out the contents of the main wireframe area and now I'm going to insert divs that will allow me to build the three parts as I can see them here. If we delete the home page, sorry, make it invisible, then we can see that we've got one part for the images, one part for the text, and one part for the image, and they're all within a section. So we come to here, and we'll insert a section. So we insert a section here, at the insertion point, and we'll give it a class page 2. And within that section, I'm going to do the images one. I'll just pull that out for the moment. I'm going to insert images, which will be down here. Article. I'll use article, I think. No, I'll just use div. I'll call it images page two. I want that to be a new rule and actually yep that looks fine the box for the images is 150 wide I remember that and it should float to the left and then And delete that part because the image is going to go there and after that div I'm going to do the second part which is going to be the page 2 text to text and that will also be a new CSS rule and from memory I think the box for that will be about 500 wide doesn't float and next to that we'll go the page to image you see I'm reading images text and then page to image off there and that's going to be at the insertion point page to man and dog. That's also a new rule. And that's going to be also a box, a new rule in style sheet. And the size of that from memory is about 650. I can just check that quickly. Grab that cursor and drag it across to here. No, it's about 330. So I'll do that, 330. And make that float to the right. That's OK. So now inside that particular container, remember, I want that man and dog image. Delete the content and I'm going to insert the image. So I'll just close that up. I'll then and dog two. Let's see if I can drag that in there. Into the images for page two. 
I'm going to drag these one after the other. Drag that out of the way. Then I'll drag this second one. Then careful. Yep. And then I'll drag the third one into that place. And let's have a look at how it looks in the design. And we can see that one's floating to the left, one's floating to the right, and the text is going into the middle. And if I place the text here, I can cut and paste some sample text. I'll just paste that in. and we get a rough idea. I'll do save all. Preview it in the browser. And we can see that we're getting the stuff generally into the right area. We just need to straighten this up a bit in the next video.